Exotic Cat vs. Foldex Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? If the Persian is a cat in a glamorous evening gown, the exotic is the Persian stripped down to its skivvies. The exotic short hair, or exotic for short, is a Persian of a different coat. The new breed first began to be developed in the 1950s by crossing Persians with American short hairs and, later, other short-haired breeds such as the Burmese and the Russian Blue, then breeding back to Persians once the short coat was achieved. The eventual result was a cat with the same features and personality as the Persian but wrapped in a short, plush, easy care coat. The cross, which had originally been intended to bring the Persian's striking silver color and green eyes to the American short hair, was controversial at first, but Persian breeders became intrigued by the new look and began to cooperate in the development of what became known as the exotic. The Cat Fanciers Association recognized the breed in 1967 and called it the exotic. In some other associations, it's known as the exotic short hair to differentiate it from the exotic long hairs that sometimes appear in exotic litters and are considered by some associations as a breed unto themselves. The Full Dex was officially granted full championship status by the Canadian Cat Association in 2010. These days, you can find Full Dexes in shelters or in the care of rescue groups. So make sure to consider adoption if you decide that this is the breed for you. Exotic shares the Persian's sweet expression and soft round lines. It has a large, round head, large, round eyes, a short nose, full cheeks, and small ears with rounded tips. The head is supported by a short, thick neck and a deceptively sturdy, muscular body, a type known as kabi. An exotic's legs are short, thick, and strong with large, round, firm paws. The tail is short but proportional to the length of the cat's body. A medium-length soft, thick, plush coat with a rich, thick undercoat completes the exotic's look. It does not have the rough or the plume-like tail of the Persian. Exotics come in different looks, known as extreme and traditional. Extreme exotics, those seen in the show ring, have a flatter face, which may come with breathing problems. Cats with a traditional look have a more old-fashioned appearance, with a face that is not as flat and a nose that is set lower on the face with more of a break, permitting easier breathing. They are registered by the traditional cat association. Exotics of all stripes stand out for their infinite variety of coat colors and patterns. Imagine, if you will, seven solid color divisions, white, blue, black, red, cream, chocolate, and lilac, plus silver and golden division colors of chinchilla and shaded silver or golden and blue chinchilla and blue shaded silver or golden. And then there are the shaded, smoke, tabby, calico, particolor and bicolor divisions. That's not counting the various pointed patterns of the Himalayan. Eye color is related to coat color. For instance, white exotics have deep blue or brilliant copper eyes, or odd eyes, one copper and one blue, other solid colored exotics have brilliant copper eyes, silver and golden Persians have green or blue-green eyes, and so on. The Fold X is a breed of cat that you'll see in almost every cat color available, and in patterns that include tabby and calico. When it comes to grooming, this will totally depend on whether your Fold X is a long or short-haired kitty. If you have a short-haired Fold X, brushing their coat once a week should suffice. But a long-haired Fold X will require more frequent brushing to help lessen the chances of hairballs and the mats forming. Aim for every other day although the breed will happily take to daily brushing sessions. In terms of climate, the Fold X is generally an adaptable breed of cat. Although you should always make sure that there's enough shade and fresh water available during the hotter months. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Like the Persian, the exotic is sweet, docile, and quiet, but don't get the idea that she is merely an adornment for the home. She loves to play when she's not sitting in a lap or being petted. Exotics have a reputation for being more active and curious than their Persian siblings, and they are more suited to an active family. Males are said by some to be sweeter and more affectionate than females, who are sometimes described as aloof. Exotics enjoy batting at toys for as long as you will play with them but are capable of entertaining themselves when their people are busy or away. They follow faithfully after family members and wait patiently for any attention to come their way. Exotics are little heard, but when they do speak it is in a soft, pleasant, and musical voice. An exotic's needs are simple, regular meals, a little playtime with a catnip mouse or feather teaser, and lots of love, which is returned many times over. When it comes to the Foldex's personality, you'll struggle to come across a more loving and people-friendly cat breed. These are felines who absolutely love cuddle and snuggle sessions with the humans in their life. 
At times, you might become convinced you're actually hanging out with a teddy bear as you lounge together on the couch or the bed. It follows that the Foldex is a cat who adores being petted, which also means they bring a soothing presence to the household. Along with being adorable, the Foldex has a strong inquisitive streak, so make sure to provide smart interactive toys to keep the breed mentally stimulated, along with suitable cat furniture so they can explore and play at their own pace. These sweet felines are also exceptionally approachable, making them a great fit for big families or homes where there's a large amount of people always coming and going. The exotic is often nicknamed the lazy man's Persian. Comb the exotic twice a week to remove dead hair and keep the coat shiny and healthy. A monthly bath is a good idea. Be sure to blow dry the cat thoroughly. Excessive tearing can be a problem in this breed, so wipe the corners of the eyes clean daily to prevent under eye stains from forming. As with all cats, it's important to keep up your Foldex's regular veterinary checkups to detect any health concerns early. Your vet can help you develop a care routine that will keep your cat healthy. Beyond scheduling yearly wellness visits with your vet, you'll want to add a scratching post to your Foldex's living environment. This can help promote healthy scratching and keep the cat's nails in good condition. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Wipe the corners of the eyes daily with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Like all cats, they are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep an exotic and full dex as indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Exotic and full dex who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such an unusual cat without paying for it. Exotics are adaptable and can do well in homes with children who treat them nicely. They also get along with cat-friendly dogs. The Foldex is a friendly feline who does very well with young children. Just be sure that early socialization takes place and boundaries are properly set on both sides, and supervise early interactions between kids and cats. When it comes to other household pets, the Foldex fares well with many domestic animals, including dogs. Always supervise early interactions between the new cat and existing pets. Ultimately, early socialization really pays off with this breed. Make sure to reward your Foldex for good behavior when you bring them home to your family. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.